So, you've watched the Heart of the Nebris pre-event phase video and you think you know what you're doing? You think you're prepared for everything Evil Emperor Albus will throw at you during the event? You think that just for one video you'll dress like a normal person? Wouldn't have thought so. Fine. You think your guild has what it takes to tackle a buffed up Emperor boss battle? Well, think again. Because the action phase of the Heart of the Nebris event is full of more action than Birch's bed chamber on a Saturday night. As a hero of the dark, wouldn't Bersha be out heroing on a Saturday night? Touché. Here's everything you need to know about the action phase of the Heart of Tenebris so you can emerge victorious. So, here's the deal with the Heart of Tenebris. Heroes, the event consists of three distinct phases. The pre-event leading up to the event itself, the action phase and the post-event phase, where the realm starts anew. Today we're talking about the action phase. Also known as let all go and kill the emperor phase. Well, I like that name a lot more. Really? Guys, is it okay to change it? So, by now you've seen that the Heart of Tenebris area has been fully prepared for the action to come. You've been dispawned out and a giant looming albus has appeared in the area. When the gates unlock at the beginning of the event and we can teleport in, which of course we'll announce on social. Make sure you do. I will, I will. When the gates unlock, you'll have multiple ways to win and claim the throne for you and your guild. Exactly. Over the course of the event, you're looking to score points however you can. The guild with the most points wins the event. Yeah, so me and my guild, we're just gonna waltz in there, <laughs> slaughter the emperor, and then we're golden. The realm is ours, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not so fast. Albus will be heavily shielded and you need to control a seat of power to even think about attacking him. Ah yes, the seats of power. These have spawned in all over the heart area and need crushing in order to weaken Albus and score points. Yep, exactly. They also provide entry to certain other aspects. You need to be holding at least one to attack Albus and the seat of power three to go for the heart. So they work like camps, they yep. have ranks. Yep, yep. So yep. when the realm has beaten enough seats of power and our guild holds at least one of them, then I can make a run for Albus. Yep, but keep in mind that while defeating a massively buffed up Albus in battle will net you a lot of points, you have to contend with his massive AoE damage. Mm. So you need tanks, you need support heroes. Okay, max level Halbjorn, max level Altenae, check. Mm, and even then, it still might not be enough. Your guild might win huge points by defeating Albus, but another guild might have held on to more seats of power for a longer time, which means that they have amassed way more points than you did. Oh no, foiled by my bloodlust and the need for a quick victory. And by your fashion sense. Okay, I'm ignoring that. Uh, I want to go after Seats of Power and Albus during the event, only then I can go for the grand prize of the heart itself. Mm -hmm. This is all what's going to help me climb the leaderboard and reach those milestones. Yep, yep, yep. That's all true, but uh, you and your guild need to be smart about it. Defeating and holding Seats of Power means you remove some of Albus' buffs, making him easier to attack, but remove too many buffs. Yeah, and we'll get less points for beating him. That's a bingo. Just bingo is fine. Okay, and uh, the longer you hold each seat, the more points you rack up over time. All right, so I'm holding seats for as long as I can. Yep. I'm debuffing Albus as I do. Yep. That's guaranteed points for me and my guild, right? Mm, for a time, yes, you will be shielded. But after that, you are wide open for attack and you will be attacked. It sounds like it's going to be a bloodbath. During the event, guild relationships mean nothing. None. They go out the window so even your ally guilds can be attacked. That's business, baby. It's werewolf eat vampire world. Or vice versa. For the duration of the event at least. But don't worry too much. Wounds won't be quite as high as in normal PvP. But they'll still be pretty significant. So keep an eye on your hero's health. I can't wait. But my little brother's gonna have to wait a little longer though. 
he just started playing and his realm won't have an event at all, I hear. Yeah, the event is specific to your realm's age. So if your little brother's realm hasn't cleared his level seven gates and his realm isn't at least three months old, That's not no hard for him. The realm is simply not strong enough to topple an emperor. A shame for him. But my parents loved him more than me, so he has that going for him. So do you want to talk about that? So that's the action phase of the Heart of Tenebris event. Sharpen your fangs, your claws, and your scorpion spikes you have attached to your back via a steampunk backpack because it's on its way. Seriously, we can talk about that if you want. No, it's fine. Let's just finish the video. Smile at the camera.